It's the plush collection, Charlie. It is, I know. Do you know what? We are struggling to be able to show you every single piece in the collection because there is 60 pieces all together. We, we'd be here all night, right? We would, well, uh, till at least three. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with that because I'm a night owl, but Let's I know do that. there's lots of Should people. We do that? There's lots of people that are going to want to go to bed soon. Isn't no, there? so what we're going to do is we are going to highlight and pick out some of our favourites. Sorry. The ones that we want to talk about, not our favourites. Um, and we're going to p uh, highlight all of those. Uh, but then we're also going to be doing something special this year, aren't we, Charlie? Do you want to just explain? We are indeed. Now, normally on the Facebook, anybody who's part of our Facebook pages will know I normally do a, release like a quarterly video. Quarter one's quite small this year. So what we've decided we're going to do is combine quarter one, quarter two. I've been working really closely with the Bear Cubs and we are going to be sorting out a special kind of virtual appointment for you so you can get in touch we'll send you a link and you'll be able to watch that at your leisure just in case we know there are so many people that are not always around during the day when we release these videos so there's that fear of missing out we want to make sure nobody misses out so what we're going to do like i said is we're going to contact you you can then obviously sign up with us we can send you the link and you'll get to see quarter one, quarter two in one of the videos and quarter three, quarter four in another one. So basically it's going to be, we're going to do two separate videos. We actually. are indeed. We're going to do one which is a virtual tour, yes. which is runs very similar to what we do for the galleries. Um, and you sign on to that. Um, it's an amazing experience, very immersive experience. We get to meet all of the characters in depth. We do. That's going to be really cool. It's going to be really But then cool. we're also going to do a um, Facebook video um, or YouTube video, uh, whereby you get to also meet all of the bears in quarter one and quarter two, yeah. and then another one that we get to meet in quarter three and quarter four. That's it. And that's going to be the bear cubs talking about the collections and meeting all of the detail. The bears There's going to be detail. so many opportunities. Cool. To meet all of the that's characters. fine then. I'm happy with that. <laughs> well, as we, long as, as long as you're not going to miss me out and you're not going to you're going to show me everything. Right? And we don't want to keep everybody up until three. Some that's of you very cool. work in the morning, um, including me. So, so yeah. Charlie. I know, where do you start? I, I'm going to, is, is there, is, I mean, there must be at least one favourite. No, I can't have favourites okay. and you know that. I like all of them for different reasons. But like you mentioned before, there's 60 different characters. There's something, hopefully, that has been created for every kind of collector that's out there. We've got small, we've got colourful, we've got crazy coloured ones. We've got some very traditional stylings. We've got some beautiful, beautiful... Uh, autumn browns, tree bark, um, browns, and all sorts of different colours that you can imagine. It's eclectic. It always is. I make no apology for that. You know, it's just something that we're known for at Charlie Bears because we want to make sure that there is a bear out there for everybody. So we've got a couple of really big standout pieces oh, yeah. here. I mean, these are probably the biggest pieces in the collection, I think, this year. Some Charlie. of the largest ones. We have got three or four. Uh, that are sort of all competing for that. So when you see Anita and Annette, we've got Big Sister. We have Roslyn, who's taking a little ride on your little car Is that this I Anita bought and you. Anna, they are indeed. Yep. And then we've got Rachel, obviously one that's close to my heart. So they're some of the bigger cousin. pieces, and they're probably about between. Well, I would have said probably around about twenty to twenty-two inches. Are they? I'm sorry, I haven't got a couple of them. They're on huge me. pieces, but, but they are rather big pieces. They are statement pieces, and I think it's important in any of our collections <clears throat> that we have these statement pieces, but we also have the little ones that are small enough to sit on bigger bears. There's pieces. one hiding away. Definitely, what? definitely. Now I know this one's very close to your heart. This is Big Sister. This is Big Sister. I know. Absolutely beautiful. Slightly forgetful, slightly <laughs> silly. Um, oh no, sorry, that's my sister. <laughs> oh no, absolutely gorgeous. My big sister's awesome. She is indeed. And this one is actually 24 and a half inches in height. Yep. So you can see she is big. You can tell when she's sitting on your knee, she's got the most gorgeous weight to her. Really, really beautiful colours. Oh, Anybody just... that sort of um, saw the collection this year, or rather last year, which was baby sister and big brother, I'm sure will be absolutely thrilled to bits that we've brought out a big sister. So that's big sister and Rosalind and tell us who else And is. Rachel, Rachel these are well. 23 inches in height. Wow, so she is a very big character. So Charlie, if you were going to choose a bear to spend a bit more time with, oh, that's... who's it going to be? Oh, 
you know, I'm just, I, strangely enough, now everybody's going to giggle at this, it's probably not going to be one that you think. I'm not allowed favourites. You know that I always choose one to champion the collection every year, and that is the Charlie Yearbear. Not allowed to say that. But I'm not, I know I'm not allowed to say that one. I would say, when I look around, there's a couple that I would love to spend time with all year, but the little tiny pairing up here. We have okay. Foggy and Smog. Let's have a little closer look at that one then. Which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the little pea green colours that's in there. I must admit, tugs at my heartstrings and just has that little look that just... Oh, they are quite unusual colours, Charlie, aren't they? They are, and I think it's important that we keep playing with colours. We've always said here at Charlie Bears, bears are not just brown and pandas are not just black and white. We have tricolour pandas, we have lots of different colours that we inject into the collections every single year because we know there's so many different colour schemes that people have at home. You know, bright is beautiful, and I believe everybody, you know, every single character that we create has its own special place within the collection. You only need to walk around the gallery and look at all of the different colours, all of those changes that we've embraced, everything. You know, it's a whole rainbow of colours. It's a magical, enchanting place to be. And that's what I want the collection to be like every year. Yes, we always do traditional styles. Yes, we always use traditional colours, but not always in the way that you would expect to see them. And that's what I think is so lovely about it. I'm going to do something really naughty. I'm going to pull Sophie in and ask her a question as to which is her. <laughs> she's, she's sat there behind the camera going, no! And then Sam just, hey, here, I have a microphone. So come on, Sophie. Now we've all met Sophie before. Hi, Sophie. Hi. <laughs> so we've all met Sophie before. So uh, Sophie, yes. you've seen the collection now. I have. Have you chosen a favorite? Sorry, not a favorite. Have you chosen a character that you'd like to highlight? Um, I can't just choose one. Oh, I must admit, good. Because my favourite time of year is Christmas. Right. So I quite like. Oh, I see. Them are these guys. We got away a while for these guys, though. We have. But, so who have we got here? So that's Holly Jolly. Holly Jolly, yep. And I love the jumper on this one. Oh, I cool, love a it? Christmas jumper. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah, so I like the mistletoe and I think that's a little robin with a Christmas hat on the front as well. And a little star detailing down yeah. the arm. And the Holly Jolly's well. got uh, some more team members, is that right? Yes. So I believe we have Figgy as well. Yeah. Oh. And that is a removable outfit. It I is. Yeah, everything's yeah. all velcroed on so it can all be removed. As we know, a bear's not just for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay. And then we have Frosty. Oh, whose hat always falls off. Oh, right. poor little Frosty. It does. He's, he's got a little separate hat there. But I mean, every snowman has a little top hat, doesn't he? <laughs> Oh, look at him. With his little character. He's just very, very cool. You can make him really hip. We can have a little, <laughs> we'll have a little closer look at these two. Really, really cute. And look uber soft. Too. I can say he doesn't have to remain a snowman all year. Well, his he... clothes are fully removable. So who's who's that getting in on the action? Uh, bonfire Toffee. It is. This bonfire one. Toffee's getting in on the action yeah. as well. So there we go. Thank you so much, Sophie. And I do apologise. You were sat there very quietly. <laughs> just minding your own business. And we pulled you into the show. So thank you very much indeed right, for showing us. And you can pop me back. So Charlie, I'm, I'm going to go back to you again. And I'm going to ask you another question. And the question is, uh, what is your favourite miniseries? Now, oh. we've done, or you have done, rather wonderfully, a number of different miniseries within the collection. So now I'm not talking about Pluma, I'm not talking about Signature Collection, I'm kind of talking about, you know, something similar to what Sophie's just pointed out there, that wonderful kind of Christmas collection. Mm -hmm. Is there any other collection, miniseries, which is your one that you'd like to highlight? <laughs> Now, I get asked this all the time, and the reason why we do miniseries, as you know, I, I don't like bears being lonely. We do do little standalone pieces, but I think, speaking as a collector, I, if there's a particular kind of bear that I like, or a little theme that I like, it can kind of focus me in on collecting that little set of bears. So we have these little mini sets within the whole plush collection, so that it can focus people if you like that. This year being the Clock Tower, we've done a little planetary series, and out of this world, which are really super cool, brand new fabrics, 
quite dark and you know very immersive they sort of pull you in and the colors are just phenomenal but then on the flip side of that we've got some really bright ones so one that i would probably it's so hard because i like all of them for different reasons but i love my little moon collection there's three little characters in there you can see them just sat up here we have blue moon rose moon and harvest moon and it wasn't until we were doing research because of course there's an immense amount of research that goes in behind any collection that we do especially when we're theming them how many different types of moon there are you know we never realized you think about the moon the lunar you know you think about half moon and full moon and there's all sorts of it takes your brain off in all sorts of different ways but there was also lots of different colored moons yeah so that kind of triggered something as an inspiration for us to design this little mini series and we came up with these three wonderful characters they're very vibrant very very beautiful and just oh, the right amount of fluffy for me you know it's definitely the type of bear that i personally would collect the planets the moons you know it's just they're enchanting so i'm gonna go with the two that i'd like to spend a bit more time with two you said one. Oh, sorry yeah um but there's actually two <laughs> um and it's it's for a very very good reason, and you know why. It's the it's the greedy mice. The mice. The greedy mice. That's your love of cheese. The greedy mice coming through there. They are just yeah. awesome, <laughs> and the, there is a very good reason for this. I'll, I'll explain next year. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, those two. I think it would be those two for me. I want to spend a bit more time. You've got Yarg and cheddar. Yarg is is one of my favourite cheeses anyway. Mm -hmm. Cheddar, great on toast, right? Um, so that would be that one. And my mini series is you know that I'm totally into my air fryer now, throwing my veggie in there. It's my little veg series. The little veggie part. Yeah. And these are just Charlie, amazing. they are just cool. They're just so super cool, aren't they? So I know. different. Well, we've obviously done the little dress characters before. We've had the sleepover series, we had the little pajamas range that we did with all the like say the different little sleepy suits we've done dress characters before like the ones that sophie chose you know with figgy and frosty all clothes are fully removable but we know you know we all need our little five a day and we were thinking about our little veggie plot we had great fun and a magda especially had great fun trying to photograph these in situ in a veg plot which was just amazing and the pictures are gorgeous but they are absolutely beautiful so we highlighted four different little <laughs> vegetables. Awesome. We've got our little red cabbage, we've got a parsnip, of course we've got the little sprout and the baby carrot. So Chantenay, Gustus, we've got pickles and lamsa, which are just absolutely dreamy. And like I say, all of these outfits, I know they're very chemical. We wanted to make you smile. That's what bear collecting is all about. It's about smiling, having fun, choosing these characters, being playful. You can dress, redress, you can get your own little outfits. It doesn't matter, it's your bear. But what we wanted to do is just raise a smile and thought, do you know what? We can't bypass this opportunity. You know, it's spring. We need to start getting the veggies growing. So talking about putting a smile on people's faces then, Charlie, who are we going to send to a friend? Oh. And I think it kind of needs to be one of the one-off pieces. So. We don't have to send them all three. Um, but like, one of the one-off pieces, maybe. Well, we've got quite a few aptly named bears this year. To mention a few, we have Carnival. We've got Shindig, which was always makes me giggle whenever we think about naming that. But there's a little bear, so right behind your head there. Yeah. All the little brownie tones. And this is a perfect one to send because she's called Anniversary. This one, Charlie. Anniversary. This one? Yeah. Can I get it down? I just think she's absolutely exquisite. Come on, Annie. And again, a patchwork bear. Whoa. So lots of pattern pieces in there. There you go. She's a great size, but can be used for anything. But the sheer fact that she's called Anniversary, you know, just nice. It's just depicting that time of year. She's beautiful. And like we were saying earlier about the different pieces that are, are, are made to create this character. This yeah. is 60-odd pieces of fabric, it isn't is. it, to create this wonderful yeah. piece? We've and been very the... playful with the accessories this year. You'll see a ribbon within a ribbon. Mm -hmm. You know, so we've, we've put almost like this ladder stitch through the ribbons to create her accessory and things like that. But, yeah, and I, I, it's nice to me sort of a hark back to some of the bears that we've made in the past, you know, using similar patterns and being playful with the fabrics. Of course, she's a panda, so I'm bound to love her. But I just think a perfect one 
Somebody's always celebrating an anniversary somewhere, aren't they? Yes. Whether, yeah, absolutely. We've been having a lot of fun then. Anyway, okay, so that's who we're going to send to a friend. That's one that I would send to a friend, but how about you? Oh, crikey. Who, who would you send, send, to, a send to a friend? Apart from the mice, because I just think they're awesome. But that's who you wanted to have time with or share can I dinner choose, with. Can I choose the little fellow up there? Well, you can, because that would mean another... What's he called? Chocky Bicky. Chocky Bicky. We've got current bun and yeah. Chocky Bicky. Yep. Yeah. So, now, nobody needs an excuse. We always say, don't we, whenever the catalogue's launched, <clears throat> make time to grab a cup of tea or a hot cup of coffee with a couple of Chucky Bickies and sit down and just peruse the catalogue. Just, you know, the reason I'm going to choose them is because they're going to go in a small box. A small box? Yeah, a small box. Yeah. <laughs> they're going in a little box. And they they can are just go teeny, the weeny, tiny. They're lovely little things. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. So that's what I'm going to choose. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got another question for you. Um, who... Tugs on your heartstrings. There's going to be more. There's a lot that tug on my heartstrings for lots of different reasons. And probably, like I say, not it's always choose. necessarily the obvious ones. There's different ones that I like for different reasons. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about bonfire toffee and treacle toffee earlier. They're really nice, reminiscent oh. for me, because it always reminds me oh. of here in England when we have bonfire night and you have those gorgeous, delicious little sweet treats along with your parking and things like that. I think if I was sending one to some of my friends up in Yorkshire, I would definitely send them a bonfire or a treacle toffee. Yeah. You know, they tug on my heartstrings because it brings back memories for me. Yeah. You know, there's lots of other little things that I think about. I'm quite magical in the way that I think, you know, so I like the likes of the, our little unicorn swish. I think, you know, if I was sending it to one of my nieces, it'd probably be Swish. Mind you, I'm loving the party girls this year. Yeah, I was Tea party, say. garden party, and pajama party. I mean, how much fun was it naming these? I yeah. mean, come on. Just great. And what about these little characters as well? Because we've got some teary little characters here. We have. We've got part of our ice cream party range. We have matcha. matcha. Yeah. There's also honeycomb. Sorry. Which I'm is wonderful. Cows. You are. Honeycomb? Yeah. And tea berry. Now, did you know that was a flavoured ice cream? Tea berry. Oh, she, 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 Not that you would want a cup of tea with ice cream. Yeah, perhaps, somewhere. But... Here she is. All right, I'm sorry. I'm completely in the wrong spot. There you go. They are indeed. But really, really super cute. And I say it's small <laughs> just... enough to sit on bigger bear's knees. And it's this lovely array of colours. You can just hang imagine. On, hang on. We, all, we all need to start looking in the right direction. All right. We you do indeed. In your arm's not large Oops. enough, look. No. Nope. So you look in that direction, and then you look in that direction, and then... And again, and super, super look cute. Like, look, they're going to fall out of my arms in a minute. They so. are indeed. <laughs> I think it's just having that splash of colour. Right, you know, and having that Kids, room come on. that Over you would here. do Stop that. Messing but they're probably perfect to send to friends, aren't yep, they? Yep, yep, A little excuse to maybe meet up for an ice cream date. And the other ones that I really like, I was just kind of trying to find ones that are really awkward to get to. <laughs> Sophie, can you give me a hand a second? Could you possibly pass me the bunny rabbits? Thank you very much indeed. Because I can't quite get there. Thank you. You're very glamorous assistant. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Charlie, tell me about these two characters. Oh, I know. So we've never had a collection where we don't include bunnies. I think we've tried to in the past. There's not that many bunnies in this year because we had quite a lot last year. But absolutely beautiful. You know, again, we love this lop-eared. The fabrics that we've used are dense, you know, they're very long piled. Beautiful. They're super, super soft to the touch. They have their little bobtails. They're gorgeous little features in there in these soft pastels, pale greys. You know, it's still very on trend. They are going to be super popular. They are really, really, really beautiful. I'm going to just highlight another one that's hidden here because I know <laughs> that you are going to be able to. You need to pop her back now, don't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not entirely Probably sure couldn't I'm see them straight away because they're hidden, but I'm just going to hold them up for all of our Hattie collectors out there. I know you're going to absolutely love these two. We have two new little characters. So we've got little Cozy, that obviously I'm highlighting here. You can see in the little hat, in these beautiful, beautiful winter whites that we've got. Can I just pass you Cozy you a can. second while I just yep. grab comfort cuddles? Yep. Just try and reach in. He's awesome. Oh, little friend look. 
I know whenever we've created little Hattie bears in the Ooh. past, always, always, always the collectors have been saying, where can I get one? These are absolutely exquisite. And we decided this year to add some more Hatties to the collection. Nice. In the plush. So comfort cuddles and you've got cosy over there. I have got cosy. And again, can you just imagine? It's, it's going to nestle beautifully under the Christmas tree. What a present. I'm just going to put them together as a team. Look at those so two. You can see them. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, well done, Charlie. They're absolutely beautiful. There's so many to choose from this year. And like I say, lots of seasonal pieces, <clears throat> lots of names that we've used. There's a tremendous amount of bear pairings. Not too many standalone characters, but there's one character that we always talk about. William Bear. Every single year. <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> is it the Charlie Year Bear? It could be. How many I've... years have we been doing that? So this for? is hug number 15. And this is the Charlie Year Bear? That's the Charlie Year Bear there. Can you pass her down for me? Oh, crikey. Yeah, I'll certainly just try, Charlie. Just just try... Sorry, ill-equipped. It's still late or Come early. Come on, Libby. Isn't it? There you go. Thank you. So yeah, this year's Charlie Year Bear. <clears throat> Just being around here, sorry. She looks fabulous with nestling. Rosalind and Rachel, by the way. I know, doesn't she just yeah, hold her well. hair away? You Look can see her. Absolutely Team stunning. Where's the dream work? Love this. We've got these soft blush rose pinks and obviously the little whites. She's a panda. <laughs> it's no surprise there. I tend to always lean towards that sort of look, don't I? But absolutely beautiful. Now, obviously, she's one of the most sought after. I know guessing what the collectors are all going to go for first. She's normally the first to sell out every year. Um, obviously, like you said before, we're shortening the collections this year. We're not producing quite as many because we're try still trying to play catch up after the topsy-turvy three or four years that we've had. So she will still be, I think, the one, because we know we have collectors that only ever collect the year bear. Like I say, she's number 15 now, which I can't believe that we've been doing it for that long. What do you think, other than the Charlie Year Bear, who do you think is going to be on the top five collectors' wish list? So when we launch the collection, you can do one of two things. You can either order through uh, our retailers, wonderful retailers all around the world. You can order through Charlie Bear's Direct. Or alternatively, you can just write down at the back of the book and put it on the fridge so that everybody sees exactly which bears you want for your birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, just because, whatever. Your anniversary. Anniversary, whatever, right? <laughs> so there are the different ways that we can kind of get hold of these bears. Um, so what do you think is going to be on the top five list for our collectors? And you know, it's always changing because obviously we get the information through from QVC and TBSN. Obviously, we have our fabulous Cuddle Time TV shows. So if you don't know about those, you really need to find out. But there's lots of different ways, like I say, that you can do that and lots of different times of year where the popularity of the characters change. So what's the top five? Oh. Can I start? You can... Well, you have... Guess top spot. If you were to oh. guess, we don't know. I have top no spot. Idea. If you were to guess, no, no. I'm going to say da, da, da. which one's good. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, of course. Not that I'm rubbing it. She's in. <laughs> always incredibly popular, just as William Bear was. I mean, he was one of the most popular bears of all time. If you look back on that and, and look back in the archives, he is very, very highly collectible. Don't worry about Charlie Year Bear. The Charlie Year Bear. Uh, anyway, so Charlie, just. Give me the little fella behind there. Now, That's the one. you're Just, cheating. But bring his brother out as well. You're cheating. Why? Well, you already know Splodge, a few years ago now, was one of the most popular, but our teeny weeny, brightly coloured, pattern plush bear. Yep. He has oh, just so many colours. It's unbelievable. Let me just... He needs his it. mate. He needs his big brother. He needs his big brother. So this is Higgledy and Piggledy. So basically, he's the one that's the troublemaker. He is indeed. And then he tries to bring his mate along to big sort brother, things out. brother, little brother, or big yeah. sister, little sister. We've got Higgledy and Piggledy. These so, gorgeous. Higgledy. Gorgeous. Piggledy. They always remind me of, sort of artist Sorry. palettes. When we do these printed plushies, I have so many. You know when you see the artist work and they have their little palette there and they've mixed all the colours and they're painting yeah. and you get all of these wonderful different colours on their little boards and I always look at these and think, oh my word, kaleidoscope, blotch, splodge, we know. 
that are collectors. So I think the they're going to be massively popular. Yeah, I agree with you there. Okay. I think that so that's, potentially... that's one of the five spots. Yeah. Well, we've done two of the five spots. But I'm also going to be really, really naughty and show you something <sighs> else that's hiding I that I know people are going to love because yeah. we're becoming quite <laughs> collectible in our own little dragon world. Yeah. Now, these two that we've got, which you're going to see, Storm Chaser. Oh, let me just bring them through here so that you can see. You hold Storm Chaser. Yep. There. And what's the inspiration behind these then, Charlie? And this so one's this Shadow Knight. just incredible, aren't These you? are baby dragons. Now, did you know a baby dragon is known as a hatchling? Yes. So these are little hatchlings. These are tiny little dragons that we've brought out in these wonderful greys. You've got the little injection of white there. Uh -huh. On this one here, you can see we've got these metallic little roof. He's got his little wings, little horns. Absolutely exquisite. So I would guess, because we're playing the guessing game, yeah. that these also may possibly <laughs> be in the top five. Yep. But then I find that really, really difficult to choose because if you're into your pastels, it's definitely going to be the party girls. Yeah. It's going to be garden party, pyjama party, Ooh, for sure. There's some more pastels. There are more pastels. Let me show you, let me show you more pastels. More pastels. Here are girls. Now, these are, again, incredible. Like I said, these. you can't go too much. I know. Charlie, sorry. We're, we're just causing absolute chaos. You here. are, you and we have nowhere to put her, all of these. And I will have... You were only meant to be choosing a few. I know, right? We, well, we talked about pastels. And then... And these are all hidden. And these are all different like, times like of the day. There we go. So absolutely amazing. So I've got, got little Daybreak here. Who and have you I got on your knee there? I have got... Sorry, you need to learn of, all of these names, look. Sunset. Sunset. Daybreak. Sunset. This is Sunset. And the colour on that one is just magical. And then this one is Twilight. So Do you know when you have that? Twilight. We talk about this when sunset. we're photographing them, don't we? You have that magic hour. Can that have, golden hour. Well, we love taking the photographs and you've got all of these different colours that come through. They're very subtle, the differences that we've got. But I love that fact that we've got the daybreak, the sunset, the twilight, all of those different colours. And they're really substantial bears as well. They really they're are. Absolutely spectacular. Absolutely beautiful. But again, it's got that beautiful sort of old fashioned colour spectrum to them. You know, you've got these antique roses, these blush pinks. These gorgeous, gorgeous, so as I call them, parchment creams. basically ended up showing you near enough all of the characters. Not quite. Ah. There's still a few <laughs> that we haven't highlighted. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, the Bear Cubs are going to be releasing some videos of the quarter one, quarter two, and then a separate video with quarter three, quarter four, so that you get to find out a little more. You get to see the sizes, the colours, learn their names. But in the meantime, before that, we do have the PDF flipbook, which is available for you to look online yep. on our Facebook pages. If you want, we do have some of our beautiful, if you're like me and you like a coffee table copy, we have our beautiful catalogues, which are available. You know, um, you're going to be seeing these on the QBC shows. You're going to be seeing more characters that you've not got to meet yet on our amazing Coddle Time shows. You know, there's lots of places to see. Online is going to be full of gorgeous white shots that we've taken as well. So you are going to see the bears all over the place. But you can, of course, always come down here. You can indeed. We have a very specific area aptly this year. It's going to be in our clock tower. So you'll be able to come and have a look in our clock tower display and see our new, brand new clock tower collection. Mm -hmm. So that's going to hold everything. It's going to have our Isabel collection, our bear house, our plush, our signature, the plumo, and another collection that everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> So that's a really good forward look at a good chunk of the pieces that are within our 2023 yep. plush collection, which is amazing. Yep. Uh, and we're just going to have a look at a few more little lifestyle images. Yep. And some beautifully photographed shots that Sam and Magda have included so that you get to see a little more of each of the bears. Yeah.
we actually find designing the catalogues and the covers and choosing the colour schemes and everything just as exciting as a collection. It's always the last thing that we do with the collection once we've named and themed and sorted all of that out. But the collector's catalogues are collectible in their own right. They are we've, yeah, we've learned that now. There's always people looking for them. It's like I say, if you're a Best Friends Club member, you should have received yours. If you're not, they are also available to purchase on our website. So do take a look. I'm quite an old fashioned sort of girl. I like my coffee table copy sat there at home so I could keep going through and filling out my little bear wish list in the back giving you hints. I know, right? <laughs> even I have to give hints. Even I put my wish list in with Will because it's much nicer when you surprise me and buy me a little bear, isn't it?